Hello, my name is Tom Wolf. I'm the product application engineer for Logic Products here at NXP Semiconductors. It's been about 10 years since the latest Semiconductor Logic family has been added. Why are we adding a new one now? Let's take a look. If anyone is going to introduce a new Logic family, it should be NXP. Because simply, NXP is the largest Logic manufacturer in the world. In addition, with seven straight years of market share gains. NXP also has the broadest product portfolio, which means we understand the needs of semiconductor devices in their relationship to the logic devices which drive them. Because of that, we are uniquely situated to develop this brand new logic family. So now we proudly introduce the AXP family, which stands for Advanced Extremely Low Power Logic Family of Devices. The AXP logic family is built to be the lowest voltage, highest performance, feature-rich solution. This part is the lowest power device commercially available. The best part, though, is that being low power does not compromise the performance of the AXP family. In the past, if you wanted high performance at low voltage, you had to pay for it with very high current, very high power consumption with affected battery life. However, the AXP family can deliver very high performance at a low voltage at the lowest power levels of any of the competitive products. It runs at the newest 0.8 volt standard. To get an idea of where the AXP family fits in, this is a graph of all of the existing families from NXP. And as you can see, there's a number of families graphed on operating voltage across the bottom versus standby currents up the side. The lower power devices are at the bottom of the graph. The top of the graph has the devices which consume more power. The AXP family is built to fill in the very, very bottom of the marketplace. In other words, where the ultimate low power is required, the AXP delivers. Here's another way of looking at the same information. These are the 14 families mapped by voltage versus their propagation delay. Now these bars are not exactly horizontal, but they're a good estimate to show you exactly how the performance the propagation delay of these devices is. We now add on the AXP family, and you can see where it fits in. It is not the fastest logic family. It is the fastest logic family for the amount of power that it consumes. There's both static power and dynamic power for any device. Static power is the amount of power that a logic device consumes staying in the same state holding a zero or holding a one output on it. However, for high speed, high performance applications, it is the dynamic power which is more critical. Dynamic power changes as the clock frequency increases, the amount of energy required to switch the transistors increases as well too. So these charts show that not only for static power, but for dynamic power, the AXP is the highest performance lowest power device on the market. The first devices which will be available in the AXP Logic family are the Configurable Logic family. Configurable Logic is a device which can take on a different function depending on how it is wired into the board. These are not programmable devices. They are devices that depending on how you solder them down will take on the functionality of an AND gate, an OR gate, an exclusive OR, or whatever. The benefit is that by introducing four part numbers, the AXP family can have essentially 30 new functions immediate release. This gives a fully orthogonal set and allows you to design this device in for pretty much any of the single gate logic devices. This is a list of the part numbers which are introduced. Now the configuration, the designation should look similar. It's a 74 AXP to indicate the new family name and then the function itself. The first part, for example, the 74 AXP 1G57. The 1G57 indicates the configurable logic, the AXP indicating the new process family available. One of the most sensitive areas for power consumption is the mobile phone and tablet market, where battery life is everything. The AXP family is not only ultra low power, but it gives the performance needed for some of these high performance tablets and smartphones. In addition, the low operating voltage allows the battery pack to be made smaller to again give maximum battery life while maintaining the performance. In addition, there are other markets where this part can be used. For example, in low power embedded applications. Look at the natural gas meter on the side of your house. 
Unlike an electric e-meter, there's no power available. So these gas meters need to operate off of batteries for very long periods of time because a service call to change the battery is expensive. Therefore, by having a very low power but still high performance device, the battery life for applications such as this can be greatly extended. In addition, any miniature battery powered device can use the AXP family. And finally, single battery devices. A lot of applications, specifically in the consumer marketplace, want to use one AA or one D cell battery. That's 1.5 volts. If you can operate lower, you can use more of that 1.5 volts before you call the battery dead. So a device which can operate successfully at 0.8 volts allows you to squeeze every bit of energy out of that single cell that's powering your system. And of course, any other application, wherever you find low power, low voltage microcontrollers, if you need additional logic on board, that's the new place for the AXP logic family. To demonstrate the features of the AXP, we've created the AXP demonstration board, which shows configurable logic operating under the AXP device on a small circuit board. This board operates and demonstrates how changing the three inputs into a configurable device will give you a different output. To do this, we've taken the board, added three input switches onto it, and we have seven identical configurable logic devices on the board. By changing the rotary switch, you can look at the output of each of these seven devices. So by changing the inputs, you can then see how the output of the device will be if it's in configuration mode for function one, function two, or function three. It's a very quick way of seeing how configurable logic can provide a large number of solutions by using a single device. And there you have it, the newest logic family from NXP, the AXP family. For more information on this family or any NXP products, just click on the link below.